Hello and welcome back to Etherworld. This is our second video on maximum extractable value or MEV. In our earlier video, we learned about what is MEV, frequently used terms, front running, back running, and sandwich trading. If you have missed out watching that video, then check out the i button or the link in description. In this video, we will talk about XRB Raj, Time Bandit Attacks, Uncle Bandit Attacks, NFT MEV. So without further delay, let's begin. The first one is Dex Arbitrage. It's an exploit opportunity with help of bots. So how does it work? Suppose two decentralized exchanges or DEXs are offering a token at two different prices. Someone can buy the token on a lower price exchange and sell it on the higher price exchange. This creates an arbitrage opportunity. This opportunity is captured by miners using third-party bots looking to make profits from arbitrage trading on different exchanges. These bots can analyze the market to realize these price differences and make a profit by buying and selling until the value of assets on both exchanges reaches a similar price. These price differences, however, never stay for long. This also means that Bots must ensure faster transactions if they want to earn profit. These arbitrage bots compete by bidding on transactions which causes them to raise the transaction fees they are willing to pay miners in order to have their transaction executed first. As miners prioritize transaction based on the highest gas price, this raises the transaction fees for everyone else on the network. These transaction fees are sent straight to the miners. It implies that even if a miner missed the arbitrage opportunity, he will still gain from this type of MEV since they get high transaction fees. Next one is Time Bandit Attacks. This is a kind of attack organized by a single miner where the blocks of blockchain are reorganized. In simple words, miners rewrite blockchain history to steal funds by reorganizing blocks to capture MEV opportunities in earlier mined blocks. Let's suppose if miner A with enough mining power discovers a $10,000 arbitrage opportunity 3 blocks deep at block 100. Then instead of mining the most recent block for a much lower block reward, he will try to remine blocks 100, 101 and 102 to take advantage of the arbitrage opportunity. This will result in a longer chain than the miner B who first mined that block. As a result, miner A will capture the arbitrage opportunity, but this will also result in the destabilization of a blockchain consensus. This is one of the most dangerous form of MEV attacks. The next is Uncle Bandit attacks. In this type of attack, hacker notices something in an uncle block or orphan block and brings it up. This attack also shows us that MEV attacks go beyond the mempool. If we talk about Ethereum blockchain, two blocks are roughly mined at same time. But only one block can be added to the chain at a time. The other becomes uncled or orphaned. As a part of uncled block, these transactions are out of mempool and are now public. Uncled block can also contain a sandwiches bundle. Bundles are group of transactions that Flashbot users submit. So, when an attacker notices an uncle with sandwiches bundle, he takes only the buy portion of the sandwich and then adds an arbitrage to it and send it as it is to the miner, which is then mined by the miner and thus attacker earns the profit. The last one for today is NFT MEV. As the name suggests, this is making profit on NFT transactions. We know NFT transactions also take place on the same network as all other Ethereum transactions. So searchers and bots may use the same strategies to find MEV opportunities. If a searcher wants a certain NFT or a group of NFT during a popular NFT drop, they can design a transaction to be the first in line to buy NFT. Also, if an NFT is accidentally posted at a lower price, a searcher can outbid other buyers and get it at a bargain. These are popular forms of MEVs used on blockchain networks. If you want to learn more on MEV, check out our blog post on etherworld.co. Link is provided in the description. Thank you.